You saw the tennis footage. So let me just say this. When we brought it up, when I brought up those second tennis lessons, you said, I'll destroy you. And for the people that don't know, you did. <laughs> I oh. fucking, I hate you. I, by the way, I said to Nadav, I said, I said, were you shocked that I won? And he goes, uh, totally. If you, t if you asked me, I would have put all my money on Tom. Well, here's the thing though. Here's the thing. I mean, I'll, I'll break everything down. We're going to, we're going to call. I want to talk to your tennis coach yeah, so wanna, bad. I want he's, he's fantastic. But here's the thing, man. I think that like if it would have been a regular ground game match, we were pretty equally matched. I would actually argue that you were better than I was because I have a lot of aggressive bad habits mm -hmm. that you were beating me on consistently. Like I have to go to the net. Yeah. Well, but let me say something here. I also feel a little hoodwinked. Okay. Why? Multiple reasons. Why? Number one, number one, when you were describing, oh, yeah, 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 oh, a little bit. When we, when we were talking about tennis and like our backgrounds, like I played as a kid, you played as a kid. And then you said to me at one point, you go, well, you played in like tournaments and stuff. And so you'll, you'll destroy me. And I go, I didn't play in tournaments. And you're like, oh, that was it. After our match, I was like, yo, man, your serve was insane. And you go, yeah, I used to play in tournaments. Yeah, I played in tournaments too. <laughs> but no, no, no. no I don't, you, you never said it you can before. Find the, you can find the footage. You can find the footage. If you said, this is what I said to you last podcast or two podcasts ago. I said, if Tom said he played in tournaments, then he actually played in like 50 tournaments. If I say I played in tournaments, I played in two, but I'll make you feel like it's 50. Okay. okay. And which is accurate. I did play in tournaments. But, I did suck. And now here's the thing. I, I tip my hat off to you on a number of ways. Number okay. one, just straight up for, for what you did for winning. Number two, for giving no indication that you served the way you served. You gave me zero, <laughs> zero I heads wish, up. I wish I could see... I, I, I've, I've seen them, but I, w I want... I want a montage of all the good serves. Oh, we ha we'll have them for you. Oh, I want to No, see no, that you deserve so it. You deserve it. You 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 <sighs> You're such a cunt. I The best I, the best was your 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 cheering team cuz Push showed up and cheered you on. Yeah, yeah. Your uh your coach was cheering you on. Yeah. Those three people who I didn't know were cheering I you on. I didn't know them either. They were just sitting on the court cheering for I you. I know. I know. Everyone was cheering you, but the best was that at one point, they would cheer for you when I made a mistake. Yeah. They go, yay, Tom! Yeah, by the way, do you know what that felt like? <laughs> that, felt, that felt so special needs because I was so dejected already. And here's, here's what killed me the most. Here's what killed me. I felt like I was prepared to play a match with you in every regard, except I, I, never, I never imagined that your serve would be your serve. So I was... I was not prepared. And after like a few games, I was so down about it. And like, not even, I, I wasn't even trying to return the serve at one point. And I, it made me so like depressed that I wasn't even going to be able to like engage in the game with you. So like yesterday, all I did was uh, play with Mike and have him serve the way you serve. No. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I was like, do Bert serve. He, he can like, he can switch up. This, yeah, in, in a, he's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good. And uh, well, let's call him. You want to call, call him? him? Let's call right, him. Let's I'm call dying him. to talk to him. Okay, he's. Uh, I'm dying to talk. I'm, I, I, I really want to hear him talk about my game. Well, he'll, 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 he will. I, I, I imagine that you were into the idea of him telling you that you. Oh, should I put well. my headsets on? Yes, yes. By the way, it should be noted, Leanne thinks I have coronavirus. Cool. <laughs> ba bum bum ba bum bum. Dun, 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 dun. Hello? Michael. Hey. Hey, it's Tom and Bert. We're on Two Bears, One Cave. Thank you very much for answering. How you doing, man? Good. How are you guys? We're doing well. We're just recapping um, the awful events uh, that took place uh, not too long ago. But um, I've been, you know, I had to commend my friend on... Uh, 
his you know job well done he won fair and square um but i also wanted him to hear from an expert like yourself a division one college tennis player a pro that teaches all types of people what you really thought of his serve um i mean i'll be honest <laughs> i've never seen that kind of discrepancy between a serve and the rest of someone's game in my life <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, this, his, his, like when I saw him warming up with you, I thought, okay, he's definitely the player we expected, the player he sort of relayed to you. Right. And then uh, he started warming up, hitting serves. I was like, okay, his motion's very good. That's clearly a strong point of his game. And then he served, you know, the first game to you. Yep. And he double faulted four times. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, okay. And then all of a sudden he just got into like a pocket, a groove, and the guy just started bombing serves. I was I was blown away by it. I, really yes. just really impressed. Really I mean, impressed. yeah, I mean, you, me, I think every, by the way, I, this is something I had so that the audience knows. The day before our match, Bert got drunk. With, can I say with whom or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got drunk with Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> and he showed up looking like a bag of hot shit. Like dragging so in hungover. with uncrustables. He's wearing like fucking dunk lows. He, I mean, he just looked like a mess. And he was like, oh, I'm so hungover. I got so drunk. So I turned to Mike and I go, you know, he got drunk yesterday. He goes, you're going to kill him. And then he takes a pause and he goes, unless he's like some John Daly type. And I go, he's exactly a John <laughs> Daly type. So wait, so wait, here's my question, Mike. Um, yeah. I hit my first serve. So... This is an interesting part of the story. Yeah. We're warming up and I'm and I, I didn't warm up properly. Normally I warm up a lot slower. Yeah. So that I can get my ground stroke going, but I never got to my ground stroke ever feeling comfortable in the warm up. So I was kind of at a disadvantage. I felt okay with my backhand, which my backhand's not too bad, but my forehand is is lost if I don't warm up right. Yeah. And so then we get and I'm like, well, fuck it. I think And it should be noted, like for people that are not you lost the first two get, you're down oh two. Yeah. And so, but what's interesting is Lindsay says, Tom, can I do an interview with you? Mm -hmm. And you're like, yeah. So you go off yep. to the back corner and I do my serve and I do my first serve to Mike. And M Mike, when I hit my first serve to you, you said something, you went, oh, wow. And I was like, oh yeah. yeah. What, did, what, did, what did you say? You said something. I, I just, I just remarked that, oh, wow. You had a really nice, you had really nice technique on it. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah. And I, I go, I have a pretty okay serve. And then I have the I have like three different types of serves. I have a flat serve. I have the one I hit, and then I have this kickback serve where I throw it behind my head, and I hit it with uh -huh. with like a weird topspin kind of. And uh, yeah, and I I think I did one of those. I did my flat serve once to you when we played. My flat serve is a lot better, but it's less more more unpredictable. And you and but Tom okay. didn't see any of these serves. You were doing your interview, but I I had uh -huh. seen one serve. And actually, I was doing the pre-match interview with Lindsay, and I go, I saw, I saw one surf, and I go, I think Bert might be better than I thought. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Because here's the thing: we, when we were preparing for this match, you know, at first I was like just getting back into tennis. Then we're getting closer to, hey, we're figuring out a date to do it. So in the game, my game's like improving. We're doing different things, you know, like getting the forehand better, the back, the backhand working on volleys. And then like, you know, we're like, we're expecting like pretty much an equal match. That's what I think we're going for. And then at one point, you know, we're, we're talking about service returns and like n naturally I, I, even I go, I mean, yeah, serve to me. And then, you know, he, he does, Mike will do like some crazy serve and he goes, he's not going to serve like that. And I go, yeah, of course not. <laughs> like, <laughs> like why would Bert have, a really advanced serve like i mean i i just didn't expect it dude but it was it was and also mike even to, to further blow up your ego mike said that the other coaches because there were coaches watching up from above in that booth uh in like the 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 clubhouse there yeah. that they were noting they're like that guy's serve is fucking ridiculous for real no yeah so when i when after you guys left i went up there and i was talking with some of my coaches uh, my coworkers who are asking about the match, and these were all these are all very good players, former college players, some Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three, whatever. And they were like, 
they were talking about remember you and not we played a couple of points me against the both of you yeah and Bert, you hit one of your flat serves to me yeah. and i and when you hit it to me and i got it back you put it right in my body great serve right i got it back with a backhand and in that moment i was like i felt like oh my god i'm back in college again like i like that's how the serve felt to me i was like that is a legit serve and the coaches then coming back were like i can't believe Bert serve they were like Oh my God, that, that serve, they were like, I think that serve came in at you at like 110, 115 miles an hour. And I was like, I know. Yeah. But it was unbelievable. They also said they're like, but the rest of his game is dog shit. Yeah, Mike, how do I get how do I get the discrepancy out? That's my question. Can I tell you what my can I tell you my this is my yeah. theory? I feel yeah. like when I swing harder, I have more control of the ball. Uh-huh. But I can't get I can't get the confidence to swing harder on a ground stroke. And uh, what will help is if you can – so if you notice with Tom's swing, we've been developing like a nice sort of top spin forehand. He gets a lot of top spin on his forehand. You would need the same kind of thing on both your strokes. Oh, I think – Top I th- spin sort of allows you to – I think if you, saw me, and, if you saw me play – I think if you saw me play not in a match. I can't – I know. Whatever it, reason, it, it, for whatever reason – It fucks you up. In a match, I get very – like let's just save the point yeah. as opposed to – But part yeah. of that is because we don't – play a lot you know what i mean so it's like it's the nerves of like we were making it an event like if we had just went there to hit balls together it probably would have been different you know but we made it a thing and i think that our nerves also were were at play that flat serve is pretty good huh mike um you if i i told tom if you came to me for a lesson and you asked me about like improving anything on your serve i would literally have no notes for you I would literally just say, let me teach you how to hit an even more advanced serve than you already have. Like, I would just teach you various different kinds of spins you could add to the serve and how to place it better. There's, like, nothing I would change in your motion. He's so happy. You realize you're just getting me in trouble for the next bet. Like, someone's, you know, Kirk (laughs) Fox is going to be like, "Uh, so I heard you can play tennis. And I was like, I think me and Tom could take you and Costa easy. (laughs) Okay, all right. And I'd be like, Tom. Oh, yeah. By the way, are you going to grant me a rematch if I go to work and try to, to improve? 100%. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, I say we do a doubles match with my coach and your coach. Okay. Okay. Um, sure. We could do that, too. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? We can definitely try that. We, but we should do a one-on-one again at some point. We should yeah. do a one-on-one. Yeah. But, yeah. I it mean, was fun. It was a fun It was a fun day. So, wait. Did your coach play college tennis? I have no idea. You have no idea. Do you even talk to the guy? Yeah. <laughs> You never asked? His cousins are really famous tennis players. Oh, great. Great. Okay. <laughs> his cousins are really, really famous tennis. But you, you know his cousins, right, Mike? The Bryan brothers, yeah. Yeah, the Bryan brothers. Oh, that's they're, right. They're, oh, yeah. they're, probably the, they're, they're probably the two greatest doubles players of all time. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So you think it's a genetic yeah. thing that the whole family has it? They're not as tall uh-huh. as my coaches are twins, too, oddly enough. Yeah. And so Is your coach tall? Uh, no. Oh. No. But, uh, but he's, he parties. Oh, okay. These are all really good things yeah. to know about someone's tennis game. Yeah, I get it. I get it. He, he said to me, this is, I've only took, I only played for a week before, uh, before the match, uh-huh. roughly. Maybe a little, like. I knew this too. I knew you would have fucking zero preparation. Yeah, zero preparation. Didn't, don't even own those rackets. I borrowed those rackets. I don't have a racket. <laughs> um, and, uh, and he said to me, there's so much I need to fix in your ground strokes right now, but I'm afraid that I'm just going to fuck you up. So yeah, just hope that you can out your serve is going to enough. He, I'm, I played my coach and hit my serve and he goes, your serves great. Just, just serve. If you serve well, you're going to win. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave. 